Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a little bit of a different video, so I thought I would show you what my everyday go-to makeup routine is. So nothing too special, but something that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself and is quick and easy as well to do. So I use a couple of different products I don't usually use regularly and kind of try to try them out throughout this video i do hope you enjoy if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to my channel as it means the absolute world to me and yeah let's crack on with today's video where i was not the flatterist at all and i'm probably not gonna be able to see what i'm doing because i'm blind as well okay so the first thing i'm gonna use is i'm just gonna pop on some moisturizer this is just a pixie nominal gel and I talked about this in my skincare routine. If you are interested in knowing that, definitely do check out the video. Oh my god, the amount of that. Like, did I really need that much? Probably not. I'm just going to rub this in all over my face. So, back in the day, I'd say about, oh, maybe eight years. Eight, nine years ago, like, I used to be obsessed with makeup for a few years. And now I just, like I mentioned before, I've just really outgrown it. And um, I tend to do something a little bit more simple on a daily basis so yeah this is just like my little everyday routine and then i would just change it up if i was going on a night out or something like that and um, by just adding probably a bit of eyeshadow maybe a bit of eyeliner and lashes so there is a few new products that i've found and um, that i probably will use today just to try them out and also i'm going to be sticking to like a few old products that i haven't used in a while and um, just cracking them open and seeing how i find them again i find it kind of good to try out my older products if i forgot about them and i bought something new it's just nice to get back into the makeup bag at the very bottom and kind of clear some of that out so we can make way for the new stuff to be honest i'm not really a huge massive fan of primer i don't think it does anything for me unless it's like really smooth and like gets rid of any pores i think that'll be a good one i know the professional one by benefit and the smashbox primer is meant to be really good for that but to be honest i don't find it does any difference to my foundation in terms of like making my makeup last any longer so i usually just kind of skip that part so i'm just going to look in my bag first my bag my makeup box bag box thing and see if i do have any um primer that i could just use for the purpose of today's video okay so i found one now excuse the absolute state of this product and it's the nyx born to glow and it's an illuminating primer so i'm just gonna literally pop this on ew there's a hair stuck in there like this is how disgusting the bottom of the makeup bag is it really needs cleaning out even though i did that as well i'm just gonna literally pop a little bit on everywhere even though i'm kind of oily i just like a little bit of like illuminating glow to the skin oh jeez yummy yeah i didn't want gray hair but anyway this is an old foundation that i used to love now it's not the best in terms of long wear but when you put this on your skin is actually flawless so for the purpose of like filming a video which is all i'm doing today is i'm just going to use this it's the nyx stay matte not flat foundation this one here and i just use the shade 02 which is nude which is a really nice yellow tone and yeah like i said i just love this foundation for on camera it looks really nice it's real flawless and yeah it's just obviously only i think it's six pounds so about i don't know what it what it retails at in ireland unfortunately yeah it is really cheap so yeah i'm just gonna pop this on all over and the brush i'm just using is just like a stipple brush from zoeva so i literally just go in no particular order like if this was my old self i would have been like judging right now saying what is she doing what way does she apply foundation but to be honest this is just what i find the quickest way for me and yeah it's only on myself so it doesn't really matter to be honest the next thing that I'm going to pop on is the Revolution. It's the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer under my eyes. I have the worst bags in the world right now and that's literally just gone right into my eyes so I love that. Oh my god, I wasn't filming for the whole clip but you can get the gist. I put concealer on. Well, obviously I haven't blended it yet so I'm going to do that now. Do you know what? I can get ready in literally about 10 minutes now whereas it used to take me obviously an hour or so to do like a full look. I'm just so glad I don't work on a makeup counter anymore because to me that is such an effort every day to be putting a full face of makeup on like don't get me wrong I loved being creative and stuff but I kind of had my like moments where I really didn't be bothered to get up like an hour early to put makeup on plus I used to live like an hour on the bus away which was really frustrating because obviously I was getting up at like what time did I get up at? About six o'clock if we had a team day or something like that which is so annoying because i'd be so tired by the time that lunch came and then you're expected to obviously stand on your feet all day talk to customers and be really enthusiastic when you're absolutely wrecked it's not like it's not fun you know I mean, don't get me wrong i miss the laugh that we had i miss the laugh that i had working in retail and i made some lifelong friends kind of going with whatever i grab next out of my makeup bag i'm not really going in any particular order um, I probably will do my eyebrows next actually and off camera just because I like to do it before I put any powder on otherwise I find 
it doesn't come out as pigmented or something like that i don't know that's my own little thing but yeah i'm gonna just do that now just because they are growing like wildebeest and that is something that nobody on the internet needs to see right now okay so i don't know why i even bother doing that because i've got carried away as you can tell and i've done like a really defined eyebrow it's not in my makeup routine on a normal daily basis usually i just use a little bit of powder in my eyebrow because it's quick and good to go but for some reason i was going for the whole Oh, let's do a gel eyebrow. Like, I haven't done one of them in about a year, is it, maybe? Yes, that's just really weird. Um, yeah, but I guess it looks okay. So I'm just going to go with it. It doesn't look any di too different than usual anyway, so. I would have used to probably, like, carve my brow out and stuff like that. But that's just too, that's too advanced to me. Like, right now, I just can't be bothered to do that. So I'm just going to literally go on to the next step, which is the bronzer. And the bronzer that I always use is actually the MAC Give Me Sun. It's just a nice warm tone bronzer just to warm up the complexion. But first, I forgot what I was going to do. I was going to actually put a bit of translucent powder on first. The one that I like to use at the moment is the RCMA translucent powder, no colour powder. And yeah, I just literally pop this on with a Real Techniques scrubby brush. I take the lid off like this, pop the brush in. I don't even know, nobody needs to see how I do it. Like everyone knows how to put powder on by now, I'm sure. And then I literally just dust it all over my skin. Then any powders I put on top, I just find that they blend a little bit easier. And because you get so much product, I'm just going to have to use it before I can even justify buying another one. And it's not bad at all. Like, look at the amount you get like in there, seriously. So yeah, once that is done, I will now move on to my bronzer. And then for bronzer, like I said, give me sun I use. And I just use this big fat fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And to be honest, I'm not really that careful with this either. I just literally put, put, buff it in under the cheekbone kind of area and into the cheek. I don't want to contour with it, but I don't want to like just leave a line. But I also want to give some definition at the same time. If that makes sense. I'm not even blended because I can't even see. Dawn, I use a little bit of Hoola bronzer now. This is smashed to pieces, but I just use this for a contour. So I'm not gonna show you because obviously it'll fall everywhere. But I'm just gonna let you pop this under where I put the um, the bronzer and contour with this. Just because Hoola is a really good shade. I find for contouring so that's good okay so i'm gonna pop on a bit of mac soft and gentle sometimes i like to highlight before i do blusher just because i find that when i put blusher on it kind of connects the highlight and the bronzer together and everyone knows about the mac soft and gentle by now i'm sure this is like the hottest thing ever a few years ago everyone was obsessed with this is like probably the first highlighter that i owned and now it is the only one of two that I own. Just because I don't like to collect a lot of products because I feel like they can be wasted just sitting there. So I like to finish, so well, not finish, but if I do love something, I will buy it. But I don't like to buy makeup for the sake of it anymore. For blusher, I got a new blusher from Beauty Bay. It's one of the Malai baked blushers. And this one is just Berry and More. Now, I didn't look at what people recommend in colours. This just came up on Suggested and I just picked this out because I thought it looked nice. This is it here. So it's like a pinky colour and it's got like gold flecks in it. So I thought it would be a nice kind of bronzy glowy blush. Which is kind of what it is. And I just literally pop that on the apples on my cheeks. Until it gets the colour that I want. Which is probably quite pigmented right now. Because again this light is washing me out and I can't really see what I'm doing. And a little bit on my nose and just on my forehead just to kind of connect. So next I like to then just add a bit of mascara. Like I said this is my everyday look if I was going on a night out or if I was doing a little bit more of like a glam look. I would now put on a little bit of bronze on my eyelid. Maybe a little bit of liner. Mascara and then lashes. Um, and then maybe some eyeliner in the waterline as well. But that's literally as far as I would go. But for today, for the sake of today's look, I'm only doing like a natural everyday kind of glam. So yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to put some mascara on my eyes. I don't want to have to get something. I can't see what I'm doing. I think it's like standard to make faces when you put your mascara on. I can't be the only one that looks like that. What I'm doing, surely not. Oh, the mascara I'm using as well. This is the Maybelline Lash sensational i've been using this for years and to be honest i haven't found anything that's come as close to it so i'll just stick with it now okay i might just add a little bit of liner in the waterline just because i feel like it looks a bit bare so i'm just going to use a charlotte tilbury cold pencil this is called barbarella brown for some reason i thought it said barbados but no but i'm just going to use this is like a penny's lip liner it's called toffee and it's just like a brown i haven't even like sharpened the pencil but i'm just going to throw this on Okay, I'm just going to literally whack that on. Aloha. Just to help my lips look a little bit longer. 
Why am I talking when I do this? I don't know. So, for my lipstick. Today, I'm thinking I'm going to use... Oh, okay, this is a MAC. This is a MAC lipstick and it's called Jubilee. I don't know what kind of lipsticks to do with MAC, to be honest. I'm not down with all the different formulas, but it's a nice colour, so... Okay, I'm just going to pop some of this brown mascara on my eyebrows just to make them look a little bit more fluffy. By the way, I'm sorry, but I don't know why I keep talking in a weird language language accent. Like, I think it's just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just, it just happens itself. I'm just going to pop on some lip gloss to finish. And this is a butter lip gloss from NYX in the shade Madeline. Or Madeline. But as you can see, this is the finished look. So, like I said, a real simple, everyday makeup routine. It's really easy and quick to do. You can incorporate any of your products into this makeup routine. Basically, it is, like, every girl's everyday makeup routine but yeah i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and thanks for watching